is right, uh, WWF C30. I'm your host, or should I say, I'm your friendly commentator for uh, this game on FIFA. Uh, just bear with me while I turn the music off. Um, I believe... Um, just need to turn... turn uh, I believe the music's off, I'm not too sure, but uh, if it isn't, then I do apologise. So we will um, potentially um, turn it off. don't really want to be having uh, the music on, if I'm honest. Um, so we'll... Uh, I'll turn the music off for the stream. Uh, it's something I've been meaning to do since yesterday. So we've got uh, a game um, this weekend. Funny enough, Friday night it is uh, the FA Cup third round uh, between my team, Wolverhampton Wanderers. Get in, Wanderers! Come on, we need to uh, win a game, and we are at home at the glorious Golden Palace, aka Molyneux, against Crystal Palace in the FA Cup. Um, so we're going to be potentially, hopefully, going to be doing some, uh, hopefully something decent this evening. It should be, well, when I say this evening, I mean, um, potentially, I believe it's an 8 o'clock kickoff. I'm not too sure, but uh, we'll play it under lights. It is probably technically cold down in Wolverhampton uh, this time of year. I ignored the last five matches where we beat Fulham 14-1. That was just a one-off. But yeah, we're going to go through. Um, go through. I've played FIFA 21 uh, for quite some time now, and I enjoy playing it. And the best thing about FIFA 21, I must admit, is the fact that uh, an old team that I used to support uh, when I lived in the town is Barrow AFC. Uh, Barrow are in. Obviously, Cumbria in the Lake District, and you know uh, they've gone into the League Two this season. Unfortunately, they're not playing really well at the moment, which is a bit uh, unfortunate. But uh, the starting lineup for Wolves would be as follows: Rui Patricio would be in goal, followed by Captain Connor Cody. So Captain Codes uh, starts. He's God knows how many games Captain Codes has actually played in real life. Uh, since our days of Europa League uh, last season. And then you'll have Willie Bolly and Nelson Semedo and Roman Tyres and Aid Nori on the uh, left on the left wing. Uh, it'll be exciting to see what these guys can do. Um hopefully um just bear with me one second while my phone goes ballistic. So then you've got Jean Martino and of course Dendonka in centre midfield. Then you have Daniel Podence, the lone striker is Daniel Podence. Uh, Raul Jimenez is still injured with a fractured skull, even though I've read today that he's doing fairly well. Uh, so I believe it's just taking it into account. Yes, uh, Jimenez is. Uh, where is he? Funny enough, he's actually. Um, Raul Jimenez um, doesn't appear to be. Oh, he's there. It's all right. Forgive me. <laughs> I didn't think he was on the sheet, but uh, you got uh, Pordant in the middle, and then you got uh, Petro Neto uh, on the left wing, and then Adama Traore down the right. The subs this evening for Wolverhampton Wanderers oh, will be John Ruddy and Hoover, and then, of course, Max Kilman, who is actually a wonder kid at the moment. Then you got Markel, or... Marcel, however you want to pronounce him, uh, Vintana, and Ruben Neves, and of course Fabio Silva. But we shall see what goes on. Uh, we are against uh, Crystal Palace, and as I say, it is the FA Cup third round, um, third round this weekend, and it will just be just how exactly I think the game will go. And you know, it is going to be interesting to see what happens. Yes, we've got a. Uh, a Dharma Triora there, um, just warming up, uh, just in, just having a bit of a mess around at the moment before we get serious into the game. Uh, you will have, um, 
commentary from myself. Hello and be welcome. This is Dixon. the scene. Oh, well, it is. Just bear with me one second, guys, while I turn that down. Um, we have got. Uh, I hate it when this happens because it is not the best, as I say. Um, I don't like having commentary on because I want to do it myself. And yes, I am a diehard Wolverhampton Wanderers fan. Um, obviously, it, um, I get a lot of stick off my mates at work because they follow different teams. Let's see what happens. You, so we are here at Mon. So we've got uh, Wolverhampton versus Crystal Palace for the Mighty Wolves. Old Gold of Wolves versus the Eagles of Crystal Palace. So yeah, it'll be exciting to see what happens. It's a bit cold in the stands this evening. I won't worry about the Premier League standings. Uh, it is just how it is uh, within uh, FIFA terms. So the uh, player to watch is Jean Moutinho. So he played well in uh, previous games. And he's 35 years of age. So there's Roy Hodgson. He's going to be looking forward to seeing what happens. As we can tell, um, Norris slapping the goalkeeper around the face there just for a bit of fun. But we will see what happens. So we'll see what happens. As, as you can tell, it is really gold in the stands here. And all new everyone's in their hats and scarves. So Rui Patuccio starts and goal alongside Nelson Smedo, Willy Bolly, Conor Cody, Ramsay and Eight Nori. Then you have Linda Dendonka and Jean Matino. Then you'll have Adama Traore and of course Daniel Podence. And the subs are Fabio Silva, Ruben Neves and Vintana. And we will see what goes Thank on. You. Enjoy the game. So we'll see what happens uh, within this game here at Molyneux. Daniel Podence gets the game underway from left to right. Uh, the referee blows the whistle. Please, the man in the middle. The referee is none other than, I believe, we'll just have a quick look. Uh, well, I can't read that, but never mind. It doesn't matter. We've got Mike Dean in charge, shall we say. Um, Adama Traore, Daniel Podence. So Traore on the right ring at the moment on the right, heading towards uh, the South Bank, which is very popular at Molyneux for um, Wolves games. It is one of the noisiest sides at Molyneux in real life. And it is basically potentially going to be fantastic to see what happens uh, within um, the evening. So that uh, the Thomas Royale passes to Nelson Tomato. Smilo passes it in of oh, well, not well Jimenez. John Nito Jalmatino gets on that but he's offside there. I believe that was Daniel Pordent offside. Yes he was. He was just oh, just just about offside. Um, which is a bit unfortunate for Daniel Pordent, but uh, hopefully he shall we'll shall see what goes on. So if you like what you see here guys on Twitch on uh, my um, WWFC 30 Accounts, please do subscribe or please do like what you see. And also, please do fire in any comments that you want to know. Obviously, well, sorry, sorry. Um, then Daniel Podent. Uh, Calf has got the ball now for Crystal Palace. Skulup. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Just bear with me if I can't pronounce players' names correctly. Zaha, Wilfried Zaha. This is what we don't want. But we don't want Townsend, and just Townsend, Willy Bolly gets onto that. Daniel Podence, Adama Traore, what a beast Adama Traore is in real life. He flips, oh, he flips it up, but uh, Quintana, the goalkeeper, already catches it. Jordan Ayew for Crystal, Crystal Palace at the moment. Um, he's probably, they're probably mentioning uh, exactly what he is calibre of, but... Uh, Due to having commentary turned off, we will not know what they are saying about Jordan Ayew. It's looking very stretchy, very well. Nathaniel Klein, I believe that is. Uh, 
McCorfer, I think that's James McCorfer. Um, Jean Moutinho. Daniel Podence tries to pass to a damage rivalry, but Van Arnold gets there. Oh, the referee's already blown the whistle. Because I believe the Wolves player tackled him there. But Jordan I the ball. And Cody gets the ball. And just turns it go for Taha. Willie Bolly. Oh, Willie Bolly tackles him. What the hell is that? <sighs> Willie Bolly there gets in the book for that. And just stop Townsend. Will take the free kick for none other than Crystal Palace. So we shall see what happens within this free kick for Crystal Palace with Andros Townsend about to take the free kick. The Wolves fans are in great sound voice here at Molyneux this evening. So in the wall, I didn't see who was in the wall for Wolves. Marie Patricio catches that with great ease. Martino passes to a damage oil. What an absolute massive legend this the down tower gets the ball again and Daniel Cordant gives him the ball. Jean Martino oh, he scores it into the Rose Ed of the uh, Steve not Steve Pulston, the um uh, basically um scores it into Rose Ed of the South Bank. So you know, we've got Steve Wollstone to our left. We've got, I uh, believe, that is Billy Wright stunned to our, our... Yeah, so to our... To our right. And then you've also got um, the North Bank, which is known as the... I believe it's known as the Stan Cullis stunned. Uh, but... Um, so you've got a dormitory and the Dendonka. Oh, it just misses there. So, it's going to be spectacular. Uh, hopefully, Wolves do win uh, Crystal Palace on Friday for the FA Cup. If not, it doesn't matter. It's only a cup, it's only a distraction from the league. But due to what's happening in real life with COVID 19, uh, there may be rumours that uh, the Premier League will be potentially postponed and suspended until the, uh, pan the um, obviously, um, global pandemic of Premier League football. Even though they say elite sports can attend, but the whole country in lockdown until the 15th of February. Um, it is looking likely that uh, we may see Arsenal Tomato. <laughs> I don't mean we'll see Nelson has made out Daniel Podent. Oh, John Martino. Oh. How, how lucky was that then? He got on the end of that. And John Martino just missed. He missed, he missed an absolute sitter, but this time, the first time round, but he couldn't get onto that. So they're all in the flat caps. <laughs> all in the flat caps in the south bank. There's a corner to Wolves, Petro Neto will take the corner. Followed by Lender Dendonka. Oh, he's hit the post! He's hit the post! Oh, and is it a penalty to Wolves? No, it's not. Roman sorry, he's getting the book. What the... Yeah, yeah exactly. Got to be careful what I'm about to say, because I'm actually on stream, so... I believe that was just... Uh, just too many people in the box there. Um, I believe Lender Dendonka just hits the post and it just absolutely... Just tears Wolves apart there. It's a guitar. Scott Dunn. I believe that's Scott Dunn. Van Arnold to Scott Dunn. And you've got James McCarthy, I believe. Wilfred Saha. And McCarthy. Jordan Ayew. Wouldn't be surprised. And just Townsend. Oh, he gets blocked. He gets blocked there. Daniel Podent, little, little man Daniel Podent. Podent, Podent. Damage right, whoa! Damage right, did it come off the last, come off the damage right? It did. Oh, nearly clash of heads as well. 
between Katora and obviously uh, between the damage right already. He's not happy with that. He's not absolutely happy with that. He thought he was in there with obviously Daniel Pordance giving a good old link, but uh, looked like to me like it wasn't. The bully has the ball, gets the ball. Obviously, damage right away. Back to Nelson Smedo. Oh, Nelson Smedo playing the one-two with Damage Traore. Nelson Smedo whips it in for Jean Moutinho, but I believe him. Alice were all over the ball there. We've got Ender Dendonga trying to chase the ball back. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Definitely plays advantage for Damage Traore. Oh, oh, what was he doing? Up Ender Dendonga chasing the ball there. Ender Dendonga. This is Daniel Pordance to Jean Moutinho. Oh, he's on oh no, no. Not James MacArthur. Getting the ball. Damage all the way. Pordance. Petro Neto. Oh, Daniel Klein just gets there. Just gets there in the nick of time to stop Petro Neto from getting the ball. Roman Soyuz there from Moroccan. Oh, James McCarthy, I believe. Is it James McCarthy? I don't know how many players just at Palace but um, yeah Jordan are you and you've got Wilfred Saha Wilfred Saha Connor Cody oh no I believe um, you can see who that is because he's about to oh he's got a boot yeah it's James McArthur it's boots and then Dunker he's not happy with that challenge but we've got through Patrizio about to take a goal kick here for Wolverhampton Wanderers Nelson Tomedo Tomedo Damatroi or uh, that goes up for Wolves throwing so Damatroi or uh, will quickly take that to Nelson Tomedo and then Lender then Donka Prudence Eight Nori Eight Nori Oh Lender then Donka nearly had his head on to the he had he actually had his head, head onto that, but uh, due to the fact he's, um, I believe, um, really bowling there now has the ball. And your Pordant has the ball, a damage right already. So it's well. Pordant, oh, Pordant, he gets it wide. Yeah, he knows, he knows he's stuffed it there. He, he, he got his little head onto that there. I mean, spectacular stuff from these guys. Bear with me one second. Okay, let's go. James MacArthur on the yellow card already. Mr. Pallis, then you've got Linda Dendonga just gets the ball, followed by Daniel Pordentz. Damage Traore, he's trying to get off on Arnold, James MacArthur, oh, that was nearly close, Damage Traore, that's what's the matter, Jean Moutinho, Jean Moutinho, oh, Neves is on the bench tonight, if anyone's wondering where Ruben Neves is, it's a Damage Traore, Followed by Petro Neto. Oh, I thought that done him. I thought he would be absolutely for the ball. Oh my goodness gracious, I thought that had gone in. Oh, Jesus. Many Wolves fans are very happy about that now. That would have sent Molyneux into eruption. See how many minutes are left because we are in the first half and we are technically two minutes away from the first half ending. But it all depends on stoppage time. So you've got the Dharma Triore, the beast that is a Dharma Triore. With Daniel Podent. Oh, he doesn't get there. He does not get there. Is it a goal kick to Wolf, uh, uh, Crystal Palace or is it a corner to Wolverhampton Wanderers? I don't know, it is looking likely, it's, a, it's actually a goal kick to Crystal Palace, we just knocked it out, but uh, never mind. 
Well, we're playing so well, so good, so good so far. But you've got issues here on the break. We've got eight Nori, followed by Connor Cody. Connor, Co Connor Cody has a bit of a non off the ball incident there. He doesn't want to be doing that. Let's go up. Let's go up. Oh, Connor Cody's going to get. Is he offside? Yeah, he's offside. He's, he's actually offside. Rupertuto takes it quick. We've got four minutes of added time at the end of the first half here at Molyneux. Diamond Triore. Oh, my days. We don't want to be doing this. Willy Bully. Dead Dunker. Connor Cody, wake up, son. Diamond Triore. A beast of a Diamond Triore. Is he going to cross it in? He is. Daniel Podence is there. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> yes. What a strike. He just absolutely blasts it by the crystal past the crystal palace goalkeeper. I don't think he has any chance to react to that. He tries to get a hand on it, but no. Daniel Podent, he's just what absolute goal. And the Wolves fans are related just to see what is going on. What an absolute fantastic goal. He's sending the wall. He's going to be. Daniel Pordance will be happy with that. Daniel Podence will be ecstatic with that goal taking Wolves into a 1-0 lead at half time here at Molyneux. But boy, we've had to, boy Wolves have to work really hard for to get a goal. You know, where's it come from? You see Willie Bolly here get, when he gets his yellow card. It's a bit unfortunate, but um, I believe um You've got uh, Jean Martino. He missed a sitter, but um, whether he. whether he's um, exactly. Um, yeah, he's, we'll see what happens, but uh, I believe. Um, Roman so he's just a bit of contact. Oh that looked actually nasty. <laughs> yeah, it's only a bit of bit of fun here guys. Uh, just for a game, but uh we'll see what happens here. Damage try all as well. Heads it wide into into the south bank there. But uh looks like potentially um he wasn't happy with that. Nuno isn't happy with that at all. But uh, James McArthur there uh, just tackling Ender than Donker. But this has to be the moment of the game where I don't know. With, well, I don't know whether it showed a Petro Neto uh, chance, but uh, we'll see about that. Podence with his first chance of the game actually missing. But uh, this is it. This is where we thought Petro Neto had opened the scoring for Wolves. But, yeah, as you can tell, it just went wide. It looked like it went in, but uh, with it hitting the side netting. Um, but this is a beast of a run from the Dharma Troy. Petro Neto, look at this. Absolute smashes it into the centre of the net. Obviously, the goalkeeper had no chance to react. But we will see what happens at, in the second half. But it's Wolverhampton Wanderers 1, Crystal Palace 0 at half time. So we will see what happens. Is Nuno going to make any changes whatsoever? I believe um, it is going to be one of them. But uh, he's looking likely he might do. He's, I believe he's going to take off uh, Roman Soyes and put on Max Kilman. So we'll see what happens within uh, this match between Wolverhampton Wanderers and of course Crystal Palace. So the change has already been made. 
And we're good to go for the second half here at Molyneux. Let's go. Let's see if Wolves can replicate what they did in the first half. We've got James James McCarthy, McCarthy there getting the ball there. But this is going to be unfortunate for Wolves. We've got uh, Render Den Donker there trying to battle the ball off Jordan Iron. But this is going to be fantastic stuff. As you can see with Wolves' possession, Crystal Palace had 57. And we had one shot on target. Rui Patricio comes out. But oh, is he going to save it again? Oh, he's, yeah, he's just, just not so wide for a goal kick. So Rui Patricio has a second chance of not having to get the ball. But you've got Andros Townsend. This is going to be fantastic stuff. I can't believe what we are seeing here right now. We've got Jalmatino on the ball. Daniel Podent, he gets actually tackled. He gets absolutely tackled there. Or was he actually offside? Oh, he was offside to start with. I do apologise, he was offside. But, uh, I, thought he was, I thought he got tackled there, which would have allowed Wolves to have a bit of a kick. Grate. Gets it all towards Jordan Ayew, but um, oh, Daniel Podent gets blocked there. Carthy has the ball. Arthur, he's got to be careful with McArthur because he's on he's on a yellow cord. But, um, Petro Neto and of course um, Daniel Podent. Eight Nori. Eight Nori there. Oh he's lost the ball to Nathaniel Klein. Oh, and just Tom Zed ha also has the ball. Long Jordan are you? Klein. Jordan are you? Jean Martino. Daniel Podent. The opponent from outside the area. Oh, and the goalkeeper gets the fingertips onto the thing. He would have sent him on the new interruption again for a second goal this evening. Oh, Daniel opponent is definitely going to be my man of the match so far. So we've got James, I think that's James McCarthy. Just triple change for um, Crystal Palace. I believe Mitchie Pitchers, however you pronounce his name. Uh, yeah, Batches Y has come off for Jordan I and McCarthy for Mick and Oh, good tyre. He's got an absolute save. He's going to he's gonna get booked if he's wasting time. So, Van Arnold to Shalup. Van Arnold. A Dharma Troyer the beast, that is a Dharma Troyer The tackles. I believe he was tackling and he tackled Scott Dunn. Yes, Scott Dunn that is. Um, Armour Dry Roy. Then Donker. An opponent. Petro Neto now. <gasps> what was he doing? Was he, no way he was going to do with Ruben Nevers and score from that area. But I believe the goalkeeper just watches it and yeah, he just lets it go. Point going from there, and Petro Neto is very disappointed. Nuno shouting, for God's sake, man. Stop trying to score from there. You've got this battle. Oh, look at this. Max Kilman already on the field. He's, he's, he's made an effort. What an absolute epic ball. Well done, son. Opponent to Jean Martino. Opponent. Nelson Tomato. Opponent. Oh, Nathaniel Klein got in the way of Petro Neto as well. Ain't Nori tries to get the ball. As you can see, he's he's actually trying to get the ball. He's actually got the ball now to Daniel Podence. And of course, Dharma Troy, all right. Oh. It's going to be fantastic stuff, as we can see. We've got Lender Dendonka. Oh, what's he going to do? Dendonka. Daniel Podence, oh, Podence, he's just, oh, he's just, just took, take his time. The Dharma Troyer the beast, that is the Dharma Troyer gets in the way again. He's just booted in the foot with the, with the ball. He's okay, though, he's okay. Michel Martino. As you can see, then Donker working his socks off. Oh, the Belgian, what a tackle, what a tackle, lad. Wilson's Arcon Electric. Oh, the, what the freaking hell was that? Podent. Oh, dude. And Donker has the ball. He has the ball. Daniel Podent. Obviously, Petro Neto. But who's in the box? Who's in the box? 
Jean Moutinho. Oh my days. Oh, Jean Moutinho. Jean Moutinho. What was that lad? Substitution for Crystal Palace coming off the pitch. So Wilfried Sahar comes off. To be replaced for Christian Benteke. Next villain player. Boo. <laughs> We're messing. But uh, as you can see, it's got done. Wolves at the moment with an hour played. You know, really, really trying to eke out Crystal Palace at the moment. James McCaw for Justin uh, Benteke. Jesus, it's going to be fun in games, I tell you. It's, um, it's Kilman. Dalma Traore, Daniel Podent. Petro Neto, Petro Neto, go on Neto! Yes! <laughs> yeah. Have that, have it. What was he thinking then? Petro Neto, what a goal to him. Take a bow. Yes. Petro Neto finally gets his goal with 10 minutes to go here at Molyneux in the FA Cup third round. To by, I believe, um, Flight Emirates, who is the main sponsor in real life. But you've got, obviously, of course, um, Jean Martino actually just missing the which probably wasn't his fault. Daniel Borden, excuse me, we'll have a bit of a hiccup. Um, and then Dendonka, oh, Dendonka, you. Jean Martino now for Ruben Nevers. Dendonka just misses by an inch. It's not even an inch, it's just one of them, but uh, never mind. So you've got Ruben Nevers coming onto the field to play Jean Martino. So Ruben Nevers, the wonder kid from Porto. So as the famous chant goes to Wolverhampton. Oh, Willie Bolly gets tackled by Christian Benteke. What's the referee going to do here? Oh, it gives him a yellow card. Christian Benteke is arguing to. Yeah, I didn't get the ball, ref. You know, but he's he's at it again. We've got Daniel Podence there. Daniel Podence. 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 Yes. Come on! What a goal! What a fucking goal! All I can say is Daniel Podent. What a legend! He's got the ball. But we'll see, we'll, we'll even play another game with Wolverhampton Wanderers. So far, I know it says it's got Premier League graphics and all that, but we're pretending it is the FA Cup third round. It's a shame Barrow aren't in the third round, because it would have been 8 to have Wolves against Barrow. And it would be, oh, he's offside, he's offside. Oh, Jesus, Dharma Triori whoops. He's lucky. They didn't get tackled at the same time, but, um, you know, it's one of them. Podent. 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 How have you pronounced his name? Oh. Ruben Nevers. Is he going to take one of his spectacular free kicks? We'll see. Oh! He nearly gets his ball into his fantastic free kick. We know how Nevers can take a wonder kick free kick. So as I was saying, uh, the chant for Wolverhampton Wanderers about the wonder kick from Porto is um, obviously we've got Nevers, Ruben Nevers. I just don't think you understand. He's Nuno's right hand man, he's better than Zidane. We've got Ruben Nevers. But the best chant, oh, Petro Neto. Where did that come from, lad? 
Nuno had a dream to build a football team. The Chinese and there's another little kid from Porto. The five in a back and pace in attack. We're Wolverhampton, we're on our way back. Do, do, do. Nuno had a dream to build a football team. Chinese on us and the one kid from Porto. Five in our back and pace in attack. We're Wolverhampton, we're on our way back. <laughs> Sorry about that, just chanting away because got to share the passion. Well, I believe the next game we will play just for fun. And that's like it's the fourth round of the FA Cup, like Barrow have got through to the fourth round. Even though they haven't, we'll make it Barrow versus Wolves. Just for the sake and for a laugh. Ah, oh, Troyer is offside. So we're going to bring on uh, Vintana or Lender Dundonka. So Victor Ferreira comes on now for Wolverhampton Wanderers. So we will see what goes on here. Let's kill me. Followed by Daniel Podence. Petro Neto. Oh, he's offside. He is offside. Oh, my days, no. Yeah, so Daniel Podence with five minutes. It's five and a half minutes to go. And then Adama Traore. Oh, what a ball. Uh, Daniel Podence. That's right, Neto. Neto! Neto! <laughs> Get in. Get in, my lad. Get in. So Wolves are dreaming of a fourth round tie uh, away to Barrow in the FA Cup this weekend. So what a goal. Petro Neto is very happy with that. I believe that's his second goal of the game. So yes. Let's see what happens here. Over. And your podent, sorry about that guys, my volume decided to turn out. Podent, podent, podent! Yo! Off the bar! Oh! Why did he? Ruben Nevers nearly put it down! Oh my days! It just shook the bar! What? Ho oh, ho! When the wolves go marching in, the wolves go marching in. And when the wolves go marching in, I wanna be in that number. And when the wolves go marching in, Petro Neto, Ruben Neves. He's lost the ball to James McCall for the. Oh, bit unfortunate, mate. He's got the ball again, though. Neves. Ruben never Oh Hogan should have got there but he didn't. Oh puts on it so he gets pushed wide. Gets pushed wide there. Seven minutes? Where the frick did that come from? Seven minutes of added time. I believe that was for time wasting. Oh my days. Minute left, mate. You've got a minute left. Take your time, take your time, take your time, take your time, take your time. 
Pereira. Oh, my days. Quintana scored an absolute epic shot there, man. No, he just went wide. The run by Dormitory right, to get that ball up the field. Never done. Oh, yes, come on. Wolverhampton are in the hat for the fourth round of the FA Cup. Let's see what happens and we'll have a quick reaction with Nuno Espirito Santo and of course Roy Hodgson. But Wolves are going to be in the hat for the fourth round of the FA Cup. I cannot wait to see what happens. And I'll tell you what, what a victory for Wolves. It finished Wolverhampton Wanderers 4. Crystal Palace nil with two goals from P Daniel Podent and of course Petro Neto and boy that was hard for Wolves I'll tell you what guys what an absolute epic game so we've had a word with Roy Hodgson and of course Nuno Espirito Santo now the focus goes towards um, the um, draw for the fourth round of the Emirates FA Cup and we are live to produce that draw and we had the draw, pick of the draw, this time round for Wolverhampton Wanderers. They will be facing none other than Lee 2 opposition Barrow at, obviously, Holker Street or the, um, I believe it is the Progression Solicitors Stadium. So the home of Barrow AFC against Wolverhampton Wanderers. This is going to be very interesting to see what Barrow can do against a top-class Premier League team. But um, I believe Wolves are making a lot of changes for this game. Conor Cody still stays uh, within, um, obviously, reach. You've got, um, I believe, um, Ain't Nori will make way for Marcel. Or Marcel. And then you will have Jean Martino. Or Ruben Nevers, and you will have, I believe, um, you will have um, Kundal for Dendonka, and we will see whether, I believe, Raul Jimenez is going to be back, so he will be um, replacing none other than um, goal scorer Daniel Podent in the last game. So we'll see what happens here at Barrow for this afternoon's game. It is actually quite a cold day up in Cumbria for the, um, the first. It will be a three o'clock kickoff, and it is a cold game. But as you can see, it will be Barrow versus Wolverhampton Wanderers in the fourth round of the FA Cup. And we will see what happens in this game. It will be interesting to see what happens with Barrow. So, just bear with me. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what Barrow can do against Wolves. And, yes, it is a glorious day in Cumbria. Just to end all the stadium, it is not exactly how Barrow Stadium is in real life. Please make some noise as we welcome the two teams to the pitch. We've got Barrow versus Wolverhampton Wanderers from Barrow for the first time in their um, illustrious campaign to reach the FA Cup for how many years. This is going to be interesting. Raul Jimenez is back. Oh, Wolverhampton Wanderers, I believe we've got a special. Oh, Wolverhampton Wanderers fans making the trip up to Cumbria this, e this afternoon for this game. And it is going to be interesting. The winners of this game will play none other than, I believe, it is Aston Villa in the fifth round. But we will see what happens with, uh, obviously, Barrow taking taking their time for 4-3-2, four, 4-3-2. Three, two, four, three, two. And Scott Quigley is up front for Barrow this afternoon. Uh, for Wolverhampton Wanderers, though, the mighty Wolves that beat Crystal Palace will be as follows. John Ruddy starts in net. Followed by Markel, Kilman, Cody, Bolly and Semedo. And then you have Ruben Nevers and of course Kundal. 
and then you will have the three at the back with Petro Nitto, Joe Jimenez and of course Raul Thomas for a race also. Yes, Barrow will kick off, but we've got the two thing within uh, Raul Jimenez. So let's see what Barrow and Wolverhampton Wanderers can do here this afternoon. Live from Holker Street, it is live on BT Sport. And of course it'll be in As we can tell, Ruben Nevers has the ball for Wolverhampton Wanderers. Raul Jimenez, Petro Neto. It's his first time on the east side of Manchester Met in the FA Cup. Petro Neto. Oh, Joel Dixon gets a hunt on that. Straight away, the Barrow captain was a shot on target from, of course, yeah, Petro Neto. Stretches out there. What an absolute stretch. So far, I believe Ruben Nevers will take the corner. For Wolverhampton Wanderers, you've got uh, Kundal there, 39. I don't know his real name. I uh, know it's Kundal, but um, find out Petro Neto. Raul Jimenez. Oh, he's got to be careful. He's got to be careful that he doesn't head it. He's just heading it there. It's going to be spectacular stuff from Barrow versus Wolves. Wolves fans to in the last little area in towards the homestand of Barrow. So it's got quickly is the player to watch at the moment for Barrow. Kindle. Oh, he's missed there. He's missed a chance. Connor Cody, Captain Code. Raul Jimenez. What a ball from Connor Cody to Raul Jimenez. Of course, Dharma Traore. Raul Jimenez goes to ground. And the referee stops play for a free kick. Let's see what's going to happen. Arrow fans just seem to be in sound voices at the moment. Oh, Nevers just misses a free kick there. Tries to take his time. He's missed a free kick, unfortunately. Ruben Nevers. Petro Neto. Raul Jimenez has the ball again to a Dharmatroy already. This time chasing Kundu, I believe, at least. Get to chase it. Oh, not too sure. Oh! Raul Jimenez yet again tries to put the ball down. It's pretty really fantastic to see. He misses there. But Raul Jimenez making his return. It's Gilman also in the starting lineup. Arcal. Tranetto. Oh! Oh, Raul Jimenez! Yes, Raul Jimenez gets on the end of that. A bit sloppy to start with. But he's going to celebrate with the Wolverhampton Wanderers faithful. I made the trip to Wolverhampton. From Wolverhampton, should I, should I say, to Barrow. This is going to be fantastic stuff. I can't believe what is happening at the moment. It is fantastic to see. And we will see what is happening. I believe... Um, Let's have a look. I don't know if we can watch what I'm doing on Twitch. But um, it'll be interesting to see what is going on. Um, hopefully uh, you guys can hear me okay. So it is Barrow nil, Wolverhampton Wanderers 1. This is going to be fantastic to see. Petro Neto there has the ball. Elite tries to release it sooner. Petro Neto for Wolverhampton Wanderers. Oh, he gets tackled by Bruff there. Got Kundal there. And then you've got Raul Jimenez. Raul Jimenez. Oh! He's got him right there. Obviously, Barrow. 
at loan to ball, taking taking their time um, with the ball. But, uh, we'll see what happens within um, each top. Uh, uh, Joel Dixon um, gets the ball up towards uh, Beeling. You got Barry. Oh, but Barry gets blocked to begin. Scott Quigley has the ball now. Scott Quigley has the ball. Willie really Bolly tackles him. Oh, but is there a penalty? Is there a penalty? Yes, there is. That is a penalty. Is there a penalty? No, there isn't. Alright, fans, we're going crazy for a penalty. Oh, it's really spectacular. So we've got um Scott Quigley there with the ball. Followed by Taylor. And Bolly has the ball at the moment. And you've got Raul Jimenez. Oh Okay, so I'm gonna stop stream now guys and I'll enjoy that.